So we're going to see how to create a map. How many people have worked with map data structures before? How many people it's new for you? Cool. So we're talking about composite data types or aggregate data types. You'll hear both phrases. So aggregate together many different values into one variable, one storage, one container. It's kind of how I think about it. Or compose together, composite data type, compose together many different values and store them in one variable. Okay. So with a map, we could store key value pairs like phone book, right? Look up their last name, get their phone number. So we say map string int. And again, composite literal. So this is the type. Map string int is the type. Curly braces and then the values. So the value is going to be a string. And then we're going to have a number. And then the value is going to be a string, the key. And then we'll have a number. Ha ha ha. Nobody knew she was a double, ag double O agent. And why am I getting string int? Doesn't like starting with 0, 0. We'll just do 7 and 8. I don't know why that didn't do it. And trailing comma and 0. Doesn't like it there. Here. No problem. Interesting. Format at print line M. And uh, we'll also do. So the type is map string int, and we've got James 7, Jenny 8, and then we could do things like this. We could access values M, give me the value James, All right? It'll give me that value 7. So you can look things up from a map by entering its key, and it returns the value. So that's a uh, That's a map. So everybody create a map. You know, a key of some type, a value of some type. And then we'll go on and look at structs. <laughs>